Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a quick video on this Goal Zero Boulder 200 briefcase. So this is a briefcase solar panel. Each panel here is 100 watts each. And it folds in half and it actually goes into a carrying case. And it's a Goal Zero carrying case, but it's, it's really not any great insulation. It's just a really a nylon bag so i'm not happy about the insulation on the bag if you had to store these and the way these fold is they kind of they fold so the outsides of the solar panels are facing each other so there's really not a great protection but i wanted to do a quick test today today is nice sunshiny day it's february 22nd and i decided to bring out this time the Victron Energy MPPT 150 and I have a 12 volt battery and a Xantrex inverter going through a 400 watt uh, light as the load. So uh, pretty impressed. Uh, I don't have, again, I just have them mounted at a 45 degree angle and I don't have anything special going on other than that. And I'm pulling about 185 watts. Now, I don't know if you can see this here. I don't know how well that's going to show up on the camera. But if you look, you can see we're pulling 186 watts, 187. It jumps uh, around a little bit. So I really hope you can see this on the camera. It's really hard to see on this uh, meter. But I did check the Victron app, and I'll try to put up a screenshot. And the Victron app is following almost identical to what this meter is. So you can see we're at 185, 187 watts. And on this side, I guess that's, I can't quite read. It looks like around 16.9 uh, that it's converting to as it goes into the battery. The, I'm trying to get a shot of the specs. So I don't know if you can see that. So you can see it's 200 watts rated and I'm pulling in about 187 watts and again uh, I don't have it 100% optimized to the angle I mean I'll try moving it here just a little bit see, see if I can get it a little better I may have made it worse for all I know let's take a look So we're around 185, 187 watts. And it seems to be pretty stable right there. I've been running this for probably about five minutes. So, I'm sure if I adjusted these and got the exact correct angle and there's actually even a little bit of a, a little bit of dirt on the bottom of that panel not that i don't think that's going to make a tremendous difference i got some fingerprints up here i don't think that's going to make a big difference but you can kind of see so i would say overall I'm very happy with the performance of these. Pulling almost the near full wattage of the panels. A lot of times you don't see that, especially with the smaller panels. But these two particular panels definitely are almost pulling the full 200 watts that they're rated. I might be able to squeak 190 out of there if I angled it just a little bit better and manipulated it. But uh, again, I just wanted to do a quick review to see how the Gold Zero Boulder 200 performed. And uh, besides the price, I would definitely recommend this panel. I believe they are a bit pricey brand new, but if you can pick up a set used that are in good shape, probably would be worth the money. Uh, I don't know if I would spend that on a brand new, you know, brand new set of these uh, Boulder panels. It's a little pricey unless you get a good sale on them. All right, there you go.